Iowa head coach Lisa Bluter. Coach Bluter enters her 16th season at Iowa. The Hawkeyes made a trip to the NCAA Sweet 16 last season and returned leading scorer and all Big Ten honoree Ali Disterhoff. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement from you and then open it up for questions. All right, well, uh, it's obviously a new season for us and, and a very different look. Uh, after losing three seniors that played significantly, I mean, left the Big Ten Conference as the leading scoring trio of all time, uh, we're a different look. Uh, and a lot of people are kind of counting us out because of that. Uh, and I would have to disagree with that uh, because we returned quite a bit, actually. We returned two starters, including Allie Disterhoff, who was a preseason All-Big Ten pick here. And I want to congratulate her for that. Uh, then we also returned Whitney Jennings, uh, who as a freshman last year was a starter for us and, and did an exceptional job. But now she's ready to move into a bigger role because of, uh, you know, last year she was behind those three seniors, and it was a lot of, of leadership to be behind. And now as a, as a sophomore with more experience, she's ready to lead this basketball team as our point guard. Uh, we also return our best players off the bench. Callie Peschel, a senior, uh, who was the second best three-point shooter on our team last year. And nobody remembers that because of how good Melissa Dixon did uh, from the three-point uh, range. Uh, we return Chase Coley at center, who was backing up Beth. Um, she was our leading field goal percentage shooter on our team last year. So we do have some, uh, some good, good elements to work with. And, and definitely we have some good freshmen. We are the 17th best recruiting class in America coming in as our freshman class. So we have to remember that those players that are returning this year are why those three seniors were so good. Those, those are the players that made these three seniors great. Thank you, Coach. We'll open it up for questions. Hi, Lisa. Question is about you, you guys went on a foreign trip this summer. That's always great for team chemistry, especially when you have so many losses. How did it help you on the court? And do you feel like you have a better direction with your team now than you would have, say, if you didn't have take, wouldn't have taken that trip? Our foreign tour came at absolutely the best time that we could have done this. Uh, with eight freshmen and sophomores on our basketball team, uh, we just need experience. We have talent. We just need experience. We need repetitions. And uh, yesterday, we finished our ninth practice. It was actually our 19th practice. That's a big difference. That puts us ahead of the curve, in my opinion. So those 10 practice days were valuable. To me, the competition over there, that's not a big issue. It, they play a different style. Uh, when you go over there, to me, it's about building chemistry, building camaraderie. And that's been a, a strong point of our basketball team at Iowa is the chemistry, the teamwork, the assists. That's something that we really stress. And it's something that we could really work on and develop on a foreign tour situation, which we did. Co Coach, can you talk a little bit more about the freshmen that are coming in and where you expect them to make the most immediate impact? Yeah, we have, um, we have four freshmen coming in. Um, again, this is the 17th best recruiting class. And, and a big part of that, Tania Davis, uh, point guard from Flint, Michigan. Uh, she was ranked as the 12th best point guard or in, in the country. Um, she's fast. She's effective as far as setting up her teammates, but she can also score. She's a great defensive player. I think with uh, um, Whitney and Tanaya, we are exceptionally fast uh, in the guard court, and, and that's something that we intend to use. Um, we're a different looking front court with those guys. Um, Megan Gustafson uh, was ranked the 12th best center in America. She's coming in after leading all of Wis she's the leading scorer in Wisconsin history. Uh, she's a post player that we really needed. Uh, she's a post player that likes to play with her back to the basket. Those kids are few and far between anymore. So we're, we're glad to have her. And two other top 100 players um, were Tegan Larson from uh, South Dakota and Hannah Stewart from North Dakota, who will always give us size because they're both over 6'1", 6'2", at the wing position. Hi, Coach. Um, so with making it to the Sweet 16 last season, um, how are we going to match the same intensity that you had in the season before? I'm sorry. Who's okay. I'm right. sorry. I couldn't <laughs> find you. Okay. Go, I'm sorry. Ask, can you ask that again? Um, how are you going to match the same intensity you had last season, this season? Um, you know, I, I don't think that losing players changes your intensity. Um, it's something we try to build. It's something that's a part of our culture. It's something that we don't have to recreate. You know, 
eight of our women that are returning were there every single day in practice. They were in the locker room every single time. They know what it takes. Um, so I don't think it's be, you know because of losing certain players you're going to lose that intensity. I think you have a culture that you establish in your program that continues to roll. And, and yes, we have to teach the freshmen that culture absolutely. Uh, but I you know you got somebody like. Allie Disterhoff leading you, you don't lose an in intensity. And, and Whitney Jennings, you don't lose an in intensity. How you doing, Coach? Um, with Whitney playing point as well and Tanaya come in, how are you going to have those two um, in the mix? You know, our offense doesn't require that we have one point guard on the floor and one small forward and one off guard and one power forward. We play what we call positionless basketball. I can have three point guards on the floor at the same time. I can have a point guard and three power forwards on the floor at the same time. We just have the best players. We don't run sets. We run an offense. And with that, it gives us the luxury of just having the best players on the floor regardless of position. Good morning, Coach. Um, a lot of times when there's roster turnover or lose a lot of seniors, chemistry can be an issue. What have you seen in the offseason um, you know, to make you confident or not confident about that? Yeah, chemistry is a big part of our program. Uh, chemistry is, you know, I try to explain to our kids that sometimes I think we beat teams that may have more talent than us because of our teamwork, because of our assists, because of our teamwork, uh, in, in valuing the good shot and giving up an average shot for a great shot. And our team understands that. They buy into that. Uh, so we, we value chemistry. We don't underestimate how important that is for a basketball team. It's something we work on all the time, not a one-time seminar, but all the time. And it certainly was escalated in bringing this team together, having 10 days in Italy together and having 10 practice days before that. One final question for Coach. Hi, Coach. Uh, was wondering, that same philosophy I heard a lot when you coached the Pan Am Games this summer, giving up a good shot for a great shot. Um, having that type of talent surrounding you every single day what were you able to bring back from that experience that you could then share with your team and uh, just continue that philosophy but make it even bigger? Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience to coach the Pan Am team and to coach some of the best players uh, in the country. But um, one thing that you can't establish in a short time when you're an international coach for USA Basketball is that chemistry piece. I think that's really hard to develop because we had nine practices before we left to go to the Pan Am games. Um, it's, it's not time really to build those chemistries and to build, uh, to build that chemistry and to build that valuable piece. So to me, when I came home, I came to my basketball team and literally almost had tears in my eyes when I saw them because I could feel the love in the room. I could feel how much we wanted to be back together again. And it, it, that chemistry piece is, is there at Iowa and it just, it feels so good. So it just, again, it, it just, Emphasize to me again how important that element is to playing basketball. Coach Bluter, thank you very much, and best of luck this season. Thank you.